South Korea says North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un's sister is now effectively the second most powerful person in the country. South Korean Defense Minister Jong Kyung-do said in Parliament that Kim Yo-jong had been appointed to an important post in the Communist Party and was now in charge of North Korea's relations with the US and South Korea. The move, if true, wouldn't be entirely unexpected, given the increasingly visible roles she has been playing over the last few years. Here's more on the woman who might determine her country's future relations with the world. How much power does Kim Yo-jong really have? Though mostly in the background, the sister of North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un appears omnipresent. Always by his side, she seems to be his most trusted aide and envoy. She was the first member of the Kim family to visit South Korea, attended meetings with South Korean President Moon Jae-in, met China's leader Xi Jinping and US President Donald Trump. Yet, like so much in North Korea, she's shrouded in mystery. South Korea's intelligence service believes Kim Yo-jong is serving as North Korea's number two leader. Kim Jong-un still holds absolute power but has turned over a bit more of his authority compared to the past. The spy agency also thinks that Kim Yo-jong is taking care of state affairs, focusing on relations with South Korea and the US. When Kim Jong-un disappeared from view earlier this year, she acted as his spokesperson. With speculation over his health swirling, so was talk about her taking the reins. The first reason Kim Jong-un passed over some of his powers is the stress of managing state affairs. Over the past nine years of his rule, it has heightened. So distributing powers helps reduce the stress. The second reason is for the leader to avoid responsibility in case his policy fails. He can shift the responsibility to those he passed on powers. North Korea's power mechanisms opaque and hard to interpret. And whereas there can't be certainty about the findings of South Korea's spies, this much is clear. Kim Yo-jong is making a career as part of what could be a sibling governance. Dr. Sojin Lim is a senior lecturer at the University of Central Lancashire in England. She joins me now for more. Uh, Dr. Lim, a lot of what we are hearing about Kim Yo Jong's elevation in North Korea is based on an assessment by South Korea's National Intelligence Agency. How reliable is information from there? Uh, regarding to North Korea, I would just say that Nothing can be clear unless it's been uh, published in North Korean newspaper. But if we think about when uh, the media or other coverage all talked about Kim Jong-un's disappearance uh, some time ago in this year, the um, National Security uh, Agency in Korea, uh, they were the one uh, who emphasized that uh, Kim Jong-un uh, was healthy and alive. So um, this time um, the news came out from them uh, also could be uh, quite uh, reliable in a way. Right. The assessment is also that Kim Yo-jong is now in charge of South Korea and U.S. affairs. Uh, I'm wondering how that would uh, influence uh, North Korea's relations with both these countries. Mm. Uh, about South Korea, I don't think um, there will be uh, much difference uh, before and then because North Korea's position uh, is more with uh, US, United States, uh, not with South Korea because they want to show their stance uh, in international relations that they are uh, directly uh, talk talking to the uh, number one or two in the world. Um, so that was why I don't see there will be much difference um, in the relationship with South Korea, even though Kim Yo-jong takes over their power. But uh, in terms of the US, it could be a little bit different because it's also about who will be the uh, leader in the uh, states um, after the election in November.
So is it a wait and watch policy that North Korea is going to adopt to, to, to see who eventually comes out on top after the November election? Yes, uh, if that will be still Trump, then um, maybe North Korea would think about to uh, continue the current stance. But at the same time, North Korea uh, had a realization that Trump's approach is more about uh, theater uh, politics or gesture politics, which he is like to show like a uh, celebrity uh, on TV reality show. So it will not be something tangible. But if it will not be Trump, then North Korea would see a new approach. Maybe they would think about what they did when Obama was there. So that uh, will be the uh, important factor for North Korea to decide how they take the uh, approach uh, towards or against the uh, U.S. Dr. Sojin Lim in England, we'll have to leave it there for the time being. But thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.